What's up you guys? How you doing? Welcome to today. I was going to make a video about crypto, um, particularly a couple things that I've been wanting to talk about, but I'm a little upset about something and I want to discuss this with some of you and I'm hoping that this will get out to some of the new people out there so they can know what to look for and know uh, kind of what's going on behind the scenes with some of the stuff that I think large uh, powerful crypto YouTubers are up to, and we're going to talk about that right now. So stick with me. I uh, just want to inform you about some of these things, and I want to get your opinions, leave some comments um, about what you think and about what you see going on, because I know I'm not the only one who sees this, you guys. So uh, I get up to do my normal daily routine, looking at some crypto videos, doing some research, because uh, I want to bring the best of what um, I research to you guys, so we can kind of all do this together. Um, and I get up to, you know, Mr. BitBoy, the number one crypto YouTuber by subscribers. So, you know, here's what this guy has to say. And here is proof of the way that he now has the ability to kind of manipulate the market and be an influencer. Um, that power needs to be wielded very carefully because... You can get a lot of people hurt. You can also make people a lot of money. So there's two sides to this coin, you guys. I want you to understand that. I, There are guys that I follow that when you look at what's going on, you can make money off just simply their recommendations because they pump the market. But you can also get hurt if you don't do it correctly and if you FOMO in and kind of if you're late to the party, unfortunately. Um, we're going to talk about this perfect example right here. So I get in, I start watching the video. You can see down here, this is as far as I got because <laughs> I couldn't stand it anymore and it just inspired me to get on here and talk a little bit about it. But um, we've got his intro, we've got Mr. BitBoy and his cool little background. Good for him, he's very successful, that's great. Not a bad guy in my personal opinion. I don't know him, but this is what I'm starting to see. Then he gets into his little intro, BitSwap, yada yada, use BitSwap, of course, because it makes him money and he's sponsored and... You know, that's good for him, too. Um, he's got his little intro going. He got his uh, his his new project that he's liking to, to tell everybody about and how great it is and why it's the, what was the title? Undisputed, Undisputed 2021 Moonshot Champion, Hottest Underrated Crypto. If that's not the most clickbait title, I don't know what it is. I mean, I've seen some pretty bad ones. Ethereum to 50,000 and beyond, 100,000 and beyond. This guy's Mr. Moonboy, if you ask me. He's the epitome of clickbait titles. And that, I guess that's how he gets number one. But, you know, thankfully in this channel right here, we're not trying to be number one. We're just trying to be real. No, really. Um, so, <laughs> he goes into his blah, blah, blah. Huge news for developers, blah, blah, blah. You know, why Cartesi, apparently Cartesi, look, I know a lot about crypto. I don't know everything about crypto. I've never heard about Cartesi until today. Um, we're going to look into it and get some of the details out of it. But I personally, I've never heard about it. Um, why is, is critical for the future partnerships and blah, blah, blah. I just, I couldn't watch anymore. He's going to go over the tokenomics and he's going to, sell you and chill you some more stuff so he can make some more money off you. Now, this is the same guy who brags openly about his Bybit um, competitions and how great he is and how he can lose 4.5 BTC and then turn around and turn it into 17 BTC because blah, blah, blah. Um, that's disgusting. <laughs> that is not what crypto is for, so you can just go out there and gamble an excessive amount of money and influence other people to do the same thing. It's not cool, dude. Back off, bit boy. I think you're hurting more people than you're helping. I don't know that for sure, but I'm just saying, you know, you have a lot of responsibility being the number one guy in crypto. Better watch your step because we're looking into you. We're watching you. So, all right, let's go and let's look at the Cartesi for ourselves. Let's go to the search bar and you'll see right now. It's number one on trending. Of course it's number one on trending because the number one guy in crypto is pumping this crap, you guys. Forgive me, I shouldn't say it's crap. I don't know anything about this product, this project. Um, I'd like to know more. But I have a feeling that, you know, because some of these guys, they work in unison together. Other people are going to be talking about Cartesi as well. 
It's just that BitBoy got to it first. So, you know, here he comes out and he starts talking about Cartesi and it explodes. I mean, it just literally goes up 207%. <laughs> it's great. Um, so what do you guys think happened here? You think BitBoy bought some of this before he made his video? Hmm. I wonder if that's exactly what he did. No proof, right? But come on, two plus two equals four every single time, right guys? Um, yeah, he bought a big fat bag of this and maybe because it is a good project, maybe because it is solving something like Ethereum gas fees or whatever else it's supposed to do, we're gonna find out, but maybe also he thought, hey, I, I'm gonna get into this and then I'm gonna tell all my subscribers about it and then they're gonna pump my bags to the moon and then I can sell off a good portion of them, not only make his original investment back, but probably make three, four, five times that and then keep the rest for his moon bag. So there's a lot to unpack here, guys. There's a lot to think about. I just wanna expose this to you because this is what's going on with the crypto market. This is sadly how far we've, we've come in a bull market like this, like we're experiencing right now. There's a lot of manipulation. There's a lot of ways that these people manipulate you for your power and for your dollar and for um, your ability to make them money. They're always trying to say how they're wanting to make you money, but really you're there to make them money, to make them popular, to feed their egos and to pump their, their coins and fill their pockets. We don't do that here. This is Synalytics Crypto. We're here for the everyday hardworking man who doesn't have much to, to, to give and is hoping to have something come back to them that's going to change their life in a positive manner. We want a healthy crypto market. We want this to last. We want this to be for everybody. This is for the revolution of money in our world. And you know, I'm just, I love crypto. I want to promote it to everybody out there. We're never going to do this kind of stuff. We're never going to shill you our coins. We're never going to uh, give you a buy bit link so you can go out there and gamble your money and, and, and lose it probably. I'm never going to do paid sponsored promotions of trash coins that no one's ever heard about. It's just not going to happen. So for other people to do it is shameful, but again, I'm rambling, but that's the world we live in. I'm a little fired up guys. Forgive me. Cartesi. Okay, you have to forgive me. I'm used to navigating this on my phone. I'm gonna have to start doing this on here so we can all see what's going on at the same time. Mm, okay, its market cap is about $80 million now. Trading volume on it's $314 million or 100, yeah, yeah, wow. Okay, so the trading volume is what, th four times the market cap? Warning. <laughs> 24 hour high and low started out today at just under 10 cents guys now the highest it got was 40 cents that's a quadruple up tell me this guy didn't make a bleep ton of money off this look at this chart not healthy so here's where bitboy buys in <laughs> assumedly Oh, we get a little bit of buzz because maybe some of his insiders know a little bit about what's going on. Some of the other guys that are about to pump this bag too. We get initial pump probably right when this video came out and was mentioned. And some smart people took a little bit of money right there. And then more people got it. And then, oh gosh, we have a blow off top. Boom! Here's where BitBoy sells out a, ba a massive portion of his, uh, of his bags. And we start to go down. And then a few more people see the video and they got, I, I got to fumble in and then uh, blah, 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 blah. And maybe we'll train sideways for a little while now. Maybe this is a great project. And maybe for the future, it could be something we could look into. But I wouldn't ever recommend buying something on a pump like that. I would never recommend a... a FOMOing in on a triple up um, blow off top. Scary stuff, guys. If you get in here, you can make some money along with everybody else and be smart and, and maybe, you know, make some money for yourself. Great. That's great. Hopefully you're smart enough to put it into a better project and not just sit there and, and let this, this come all the way back down to where it was. I'm not saying that's going to happen, you guys. This is not financial advice. I am not telling you to buy this or to not buy this. I am not a financial advisor. I just see what I see and I call a spade a spade. We're definitely dealing with a spade here. Um, what else can we learn about? Is there somewhere on here where we can find out a little bit about what exactly Cartesi is? Um, it's got a website, blah, 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 community, source code, tags. Sorry, guys, I'm fumbling around here a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm used to my phone. Okay, here we go. 
markets, we can see who's carrying it. Okay, all right. It's on Binance, it's on Upbit, it's on Biloxi. It's, whoa, it's on Uniswap. Just kidding. Um, all right, yeah, so it's on some of the big daddies. I mean, can't complain about that. That's going to give you, uh, that's going to give a lot of people a chance to buy it and a chance to sell it. And um, so that's good. You're not going to get stuck with something that's illiquid. This is definitely, definitely a good thing. Um, we have already looked at the chart. We're going to take a little closer look at the chart. Yeah. Oof. Ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Um, since I'm having trouble here, you guys, I'm just going to pull it up on my phone real quick because I just want to see what they have to say under the info category. Okay. Cartesi is taking smart contracts on Ethereum to the next level. It is solving the urgent problem of scalability and high fees by implementing a variant of, co of optimistic rollups. Most notably, Cartesi is revolutionizing smart contract programming please, by allowing developers to code with mainstream software stacks instead of Solidity. No other is, no, no, no other, is that a word? Is Cartesi's side chain that is optimized for ephemeral data, providing low cost data availability, availability to dApps. What makes Cartesi unique, they go on. What gives Cartesi a complete edge is that it allows developers to code their smart contracts and dApps directly with mainstream software components and Linux OS resources. This is a breakthrough for the productivity of existing dApp developers and for the adoption of non-blockchain developers. That's good. This is a necessary step to the very future of blockchains and their applications. In addition, key highlights include transaction scaling 20-fold plus TPS increase over, over Ethereum, Computational scaling million fold more computational steps per second than Ethereum. Really? Run incentive computations on massive amounts of data off chain with the same security guarantees offered by the blockchain. Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. Keeps going on. Programmability, data availability, scaling, ease of adoption. Says developers can work in a familiar environment with no artificial limitations and with access to all their favorite tools. Portability, privacy. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of information on this. Like I said, this could be a really great breakthrough project. Um, do your own research before you get into this because BitBoy's not the first or the last, or well, he's the first probably, first big name, but not the last person to be talking about stuff like this. It's not about, this video is not about the project Cartesi itself, guys. I just, I don't want to be the guy who convinces you not to invest if that's something that you want to do. What I'm saying is, is you got to keep an eye on this kind of stuff. You can use this to your advantages to make money. I want you guys to make money. I want us all to make money. Um, I just don't want anyone to get burned. Uh, so, so the number one guy in crypto can just make more money and just continue to pump out stuff like this. I just, it's, it's despicable. I'm upset about it. And, um, I don't know what else to say guys, but I just think y'all need to heed the warning. Um, be ready to make smart decisions. If you make a lot of money in a project like this real quick, for God's sake, put it into something decent. That's going to hold value over time and not just be the next big, Wait, wait, let's go back to the title. Undisputed. The Undisputed 2021 Moonshot Champion. Oh, yeah. I'm the champ. Hottest underrated crypto. I don't know, guys. Anyways, I got to get to my actual video because I've got some stuff to share with my new subscribers. I'm very thankful for all of you guys. Can't wait to make this video. This one's over. And we out. It is what it is. Spade to spade, people. Every single time.